the tragedy of what happened in our history with slave trade and everything in between. Today, the children of Haiti are not going to school. Today, women in Haiti cannot go to hospital. Today, many communities in Haiti cannot access social services. They are reaching out to us to support them. The choice of Kenya to provide this support was not by default. It wasn't through guesswork. Many countries identified us as a safe pair of hands, as a country with a rich history in peacekeeping, peacemaking, and peace operation, as a democratic country that has democratic credentials on how to handle situations like this and with our experience. And as an anchor country already in our region that is anchoring the peace and security of our region. It is on this understanding that the UN Security Council made a resolution to authorize and facilitate the deployment of this multinational security support mission to Haiti. And Kenya has been mandated to lead the rest of the countries, many countries, that will be coming along with us to Haiti. Haiti will not be a Kenyan assignment. It is an assignment of many countries, a multinational support assignment that will be supported. Countries, many countries will contribute men and women into the force. Many will contribute equipment. Many will contribute um, financially. And many will contribute in other ways to make sure that humanity, the people in Haiti, have a life and they too can enjoy the fruits of being human beings like us. Let me also say that though the situation and the assignment is not easy, it is the very reason why we believe Kenya was chosen as to provide the leadership in this very difficult terrain because we have demonstrated time and time and again that we have the credentials to work with others, confront difficult situations, and provide solutions. I am very proud that we have earned our credentials as the people of Kenya in the 46 different missions that we have deployed ever since we became an independent country. And this is one such assignment that calls on the people of Kenya, on the leadership of Kenya, on our security agencies in Kenya to provide support and solve the security challenges that exist in Haiti, a country of black people like us. We cannot walk away from the men, the women, and the children in Haiti. It is a call of duty. It is in solidarity with humanity. It is in solidarity with our own flesh and blood. And that is why this mission is important. And that is why Kenya accepted not just to participate, but to also provide leadership in this mission. I will take a few questions for the people who have uh, a few questions to ask. Oh, I hope I remember all the questions. <laughs> Let me start with the mission that went uh, to visit uh, Haiti. 
Yes, there was an initial mission that went to um, fact find in, uh, in Haiti. They came back with a report which, was, which I was briefed and equally the National Security Council was briefed on what the situation is, the security situation in Haiti, the political situation in Haiti, and all the other components in Haiti. And it's on that basis that we subsequently agreed to participate in the multinational security support mission. Um, your second question was the ratio of uh, Kenyan police uh, to, in fact, we have one of the highest ratios of police to civilians in our continent. And it is on that basis that Kenya was chosen because the analysis clearly showed that we had enough men and women to take care of our policing responsibilities in Kenya and to extend a hand to the people of Haiti who are in need. Question number three is the petition in court. We are a democratic country. And because we wear on our badge democratic credentials, it is the right of every Kenyan to canvas whatever institution including our courts, and we respect not just uh, uh, the right of Kenyans to petition, but to also we also respect the courts to independently make decisions on matters that affect us as a people, us as a nation, and us as a member of the international community. Uh, I am very confident that ultimately the right decision will be made by us collectively, including our judiciary. Um, and finally, on the issue of why the police, this is the request of the people of Haiti. The people of Haiti requested for support uh, from the National Police Service to support the police uh, service in, uh, in Haiti. And we are responding to that request. If they had requested, if they had made a different request, we would have uh, responded uh, to that request appropriately. Okay? This deployment is covered under Chapter 7 of the UN Charter that de defines what are the parameters of deployment. What is their safety cons uh, issues? How are the remunerations going to be met? And all the other the aspects of deployment. We are providing the leadership. We are providing some of the personnel. Other countries are providing other uh, police services from other countries. And as I have told you, it is the international community that will fund this uh, deployment. It is not going to be funded by Kenyan taxpayers. It's going to be funded by the international community. Our place is to provide leadership because the international community believes that Kenya has the requisite uh, leadership. And we have demonstrated over time that we have what it takes to undertake assignments like the one that we envisage in Haiti. Uh, so their safety, their um, terms of service, they are all catered for by international frameworks, just as it happens in all other deployments. The same way we are deployed in Somalia, the same way we've deployed in other missions across the globe in the 46 uh, deployments that we have done uh, before. And um, your other question was? Yes. Initially, we have 
the initial period of 12 months that we are uh, going that that is uh, in the in the offing we are having a conversation about after 12 months there will be an assessment of whether uh, our support and the mission will continue and that will be de de uh, determined depending on the different parameters that will apply at that point in time.